Chapter 9 As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man who had been blind from birth. Teacher, his disciples asked him, Why was this man born blind? Was it a result of his own sins or those of his parents? It was not because of his sins or his parents' sins, Jesus answered. He was born blind so the power of God could be seen in him. All of us must quickly carry out the tasks assigned us by the one who sent me, because there is little time left before the night falls and all work comes to an end. But while I am still here in the world, I am the light of the world. Then he spit on the ground, made mud with the saliva, and smoothed the mud over the blind man's eyes. He told him, Go and wash in the pool of Siloam. Siloam means scent. So the man went and washed and came back seeing. His neighbors and others who knew him as a blind beggar asked each other, Is this the same man, that beggar? Some said he was, and others said, No, but he surely looks like him. And the beggar kept saying, I am the same man. They asked, Who hailed you? What happened? He told them, The man they called Jesus made mud and smoothed it over my eyes and told me, Go to the pool of Siloam and wash off the mud. I went and washed, and now I can see. Where is he now? They asked. I don't know. He replied. Then they took the man to the Pharisees. Now as it happened, Jesus had healed a man on a Sabbath. The Pharisees asked the man all about it. So he told them, He smoothed the mud over my eyes, and when it was washed away, I could see. Some of the Pharisees said, This man Jesus is not from God, for he is working on the Sabbath. Others said, But how could an ordinary sinner do such miraculous signs? So there was a deep division of opinion among them. Then the Pharisees once again questioned the man who had been blind and demanded, This man who opened your eyes, who do you say he is? The man replied, I think he must be a prophet. The Jewish leaders wouldn't believe he had been blind, so they called in his parents. They asked them, Is this your son? Was he born blind? If so, how can he see? His parents replied, We know this is our son and that he was born blind. But we don't know how he can see or who healed him. He is old enough to speak for himself. Ask him. They said this because they were afraid of the Jewish leaders, who had announced that anyone saying Jesus was the Messiah would be expelled from the synagogue. That's why they said, He is old enough to speak for himself. Ask him. So for the second time they called in the man who had been blind and told him, Give glory to God by telling the truth. Because we know Jesus is a sinner. I don't know whether he is a sinner, the man replied. But I know this. I was blind, and now I can see. But what did he do? They asked. How did he heal you? Look, the man exclaimed. I told you once. Didn't you listen? Why do you want to hear it again? Do you want to become his disciples too? Then they cursed him and said, You are his disciple, but we are disciples of Moses. We know God spoke to Moses, but as for this man, we don't know anything about him. Why, that's very strange, the man replied. He healed my eyes, and yet you don't know anything about him? Well, God doesn't listen to sinners, but he is ready to hear those who worship him and do his will. Never since the world began has anyone been able to open the eyes of someone born blind. If this man were not from God, he couldn't do it. You were born in sin, they answered. Are you trying to teach us? And they threw him out of the synagogue. When Jesus heard what had happened, he found the man and said, Do you believe in the Son of Man? The man answered, Who is he, sir? Because I would like to. You have seen him, Jesus said, and he is speaking to you. Yes, Lord, the man said. I believe. And he worshipped Jesus. Then Jesus told him, I have come to judge the world. I have come to give sight to the blind, and to show those who think they see that they are blind. The Pharisees who were standing there heard him and asked, Are you saying we are blind? If you were blind, you wouldn't be guilty, Jesus replied, but you remain guilty because you claim you can see.